Hey guys, welcome back to Celebrity Snap. In today's video, we shall be looking at the sad story of what happened to God's must be crazy actor, En Zhao Toma. Let's get started. About En Zhao En Zhao Toma, also spelled as Jikau Tekanakoma, is the name of one of the best African actors of all time. The actor and bush farmer was born in 1944 in the Sumque region of Namibia and did not know his exact age. Enja was from the San people of the Bushmen and spoke Ochiheroro, Tswana, and Juhon fluently. The actor also spoke some Afrikaans with ease. This phenomenal actor had little experience beyond his home and did not know the value of money. Enja made his debut in the 1980 movie The Gods Must Be Crazy, in which he played the role of Zhizhou, a Kalahari Bushman. He also appeared in the movie sequel such as Crazy Safari, Gods Must Be Crazy 2, and Crazy Hong Kong, among others. His Family An Zhao Toma lived in Sumque with his three wives and six children. Unfortunately, his second wife passed on and was buried in his home. According to available information, one of his surviving wives is called Cora. The available information about his family is that he has six surviving children. Nothing is documented about his parents or siblings and the names of his other wives. The first movie. The Namibian actor was discovered by South African movie director Jamie Uwes, who cast him in the 1980s comic movie The Gods Must Be Crazy. In his first role, he displayed the character of Zhizhou, a bushman who saw a Coca Cola bottle and thought it was something alien. The character continues to display episodes of hilarious errors as he tries to decipher the mystery of the bottle. Surprisingly, the actor was paid $300 for his remarkable role, an amount he turned down as he did not know the value of money. Strangely, most Sands had known about money and got their supplies through purchases from the government. Later, En Zhao continued to feature in a series of sequels, such as The Gods Must Be Crazy 2 as Zhizhou, Crazy Safari as En Zhao the Bushman, Crazy Hong Kong as Xi, and The Gods Must Be Funny in China as himself. These movies achieved great success both locally and internationally. After his first meager wage, En Zhao had known the value of money and managed to negotiate a payment of over $500,000. His Retirement En Zhao's acting career came to an end after his last movie, The Gods Must Be Crazy in China. The actor returned to his home in Namibia where he took up crop and livestock farming. The retired actor farmed maize, pumpkins, and beans and kept several herds of cattle. However, his livestock farming was limited to 20 cattle. According to media reports, it was not easy for him to keep track of more than 20 because he could only count up to 20. Life after acting and his passing. En Zhao's retirement wasn't badly off as he had managed to build his family's brick house with running water and electricity. He also bought a secondhand car and hired a chauffeur as he couldn't drive and had no desire to learn. In his culture, the meaning of money and all material possessions was unheard of. The comic man later got converted to Christianity and was baptized in the Seventh-day Adventist faith in 2000. July 3, 2003 saw the passing of a great man after En Zhao passed on from a drug-resistant strain of tuberculosis. Earlier on the day he passed, the retired actor had gone to the wild to hunt some guinea fowls and collect some wood as was his custom. His body was discovered near his home and was laid to rest in a semi-traditional ceremony on July 12th next to the grave of his second wife. According to reports, he passed away at around the age of 59. He left a great legacy in his home country, Namibia, and the world. He is survived by two wives and six children. Thanks for watching.